Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ghost 11 Vice Squad, brought to you by the Andromus Fly Company, our sponsor. After you watch today's clip, please hit that little subscribe button, like button, and little reminder bell so you don't miss any of our future episodes. And also check out our awesome online stores, fishingoutdoors.ca or .net for US and international shoppers. Today, we're going to do something a little different. Instead of tying a fly, we're going to do a little bit of prep. Today, we're going to make a little bit of dubbing blend to use in flies later. So, we're going to start out with this fox squirrel dubbing right here. Let me get a little bit more. There we go. It's a dubbing that I you know, harvested the squirrel and then took the skin and shaved it to make this dubbing. It has a little bit of Antron dubbing already mixed in with it. I don't have any just plain fox squirrel left, but that's okay because we're gonna add some more and just add a little bit less, add a little bit more than I do when you make it. So take this, put it into our coffee grinder. This is just a $2 coffee grinder that I found at a Goodwill. All right, nothing special. Doesn't need to be anything special. You're gonna put dead animals in it. So here we have some Antron dubbing in pan. We're gonna put some of it in with this fox for Like I said, this already has a little bit. So all you're gonna do is just add a little bit more than I do. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this into shorter fibers. That way we can get a tighter dubbing noodle when we go to use it. So, got our razor scissors right here from Andromus. Just cut this in about half inch increments. And then to get a little bit of orange color that I like to have in my flies, we're gonna use this Antron yarn this normal Antron yarn you can find at most fly shops or probably even some craft stores. Oop. We're going to take out, I don't know, five or six inches. Now that we have that, we're going to put it on the lid of this coffee grinder. And instead of just holding down like you would if, you're if you were grinding beans, we're just going to pulse it. Now that we've done that for a little bit, we're gonna take a look at it. The Antron yarn isn't fully separated yet. We're gonna just take our fingers and we're gonna help it along a little bit. Don't have to do this, but it's gonna save you a little bit of time in grinding. So now that we did that, put our lid back on. We're just gonna pulse it again. Getting closer, almost done. Separated a little bit more. And now we have this really, really well mixed dubbing. We can take out, fold over a couple times. This is gonna have the buggy effects of squirrel dubbing and also the orange color that triggers strikes from fish. We take our UV light and hit this dubbing. You can see all of the orange is mixed in the brown, really creating this wild look, which is something that we are going for. Now, if we want to compare that to the regular fox squirrel dubbing, if we hit with the UV light, we have none of that. So, you add this little bit of UV reaction, which is the same thing as the sun rays. It is going to cause these fish to see this fly and to react to it. An example of a fly that I've used this dubbing blend on before. Where did I put it? Right here. A stimulator. Really heavy on the deer hair, heavy hackled, and a brown color, right? But take the UV light out, you hit it, and you got these brown accents throughout the fly. Or, sorry, orange accents throughout the fly that react with the UV rays and they're going to cause strikes. So if you'd like to see this fly, tell me in the comments and we can do it next week. So, thank you for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. It's a technique that a lot of a lot of fly tires use, but not enough, honestly. I think if more people made custom dummy blends, you'd see better results. So, try it out. I do it all the time. It's produced well for me. You should do it too. Now, 
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and the little reminder bell. That way you don't miss any of our future episodes. And also, check out our awesome online stores at fishingoutdoors.ca or .net for U.S. international shoppers. You'll see uh, all of our outdoor gear, our sponsor's gear, and just anything you need for that next adventure, which I'm sure you're going to take with some flies that you tie with this dubbing blend. See you next week.